Hello. <laughs> and welcome back to the Cat and Emma show. We're back. And today we are going to talk about something really special. And guess what? Might tell that I've dressed up. Maybe you like it. Maybe you hate it. I don't give a... We're going to talk about something today. But before we get into that, I'm going to introduce my guest speaker, <laughs> my co-host, Anna. And it's I'm me. It's you and I'm me, Kat. And I don't know if you know or if you remember, but we are coaches. We are hypnotherapists. And we are spiritual as yes. yes, and we mm. love it. And in, the, mm. in this episode, we are going to talk about Halloween. We are yes. Why? Why? What well, is it? About? Why? Because it was Halloween, the thirty-first of October, and people are out of their minds. Yeah. I don't know how it is in in Denmark, but here it's it's getting more and more and more, and people are just going for it, celebrating, dressing up. Yeah, and it's like you can't avoid it. And nope. way back before it became what it is today, I was like, it's an American tradition. It's only for us to buy stuff and dress up. And in Denmark, we already had. A holiday where we dressed up and we had it's it's um related to the fast in the christian uh christianity then so it's you... like the 11th of the 11th no it's in february ah okay okay after the okay. fast and yeah between easter and christmas oh and we, we have uh, hit a, hit a big, yeah kind of but we hit a a um a barrel where there's in the old times, there was I a cat it's in it. It's a bell. Not a bell. A barrel. A bucket Sorry. kind of. Yeah. Go, go, go. And go, in the go, old go. days, Anna, in the old days, the old days, there was a living, a live cat in it. And they hid it. Something was superstition. And chasing, okay, I might be wrong, but as I remember it, it's about chasing evil spirits away or something. That sounds familiar yeah so when it came here i was like okay we already have that why do we need halloween it's only for merchandise i didn't understand what it was about but that's what we're going to talk about today because should we look it up what i think is we should look it up origin of halloween because it's got only my... about pumpkins and dressing up no no i don't think so there i've got my trusty something. phone with me and I'm going to look it up. Are you going to? Oh, you too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. Because I'm curious. If there's something I am, it's curious. I need to know stuff. So. Oh. Eva? Uh, well, just, just so you know. Halloween is an ancient Celtic festival of... Okay, it's a Gaelic word pronounced as Samhain. 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 Sounds Japanese. But yeah. It, it, yeah. Samhain. Yeah, and it's Celtic. Yeah. And you would think, not knowing what you're reading right now, that Halloween came from USA. <laughs> the US of A. But it doesn't. It actually no. stems from Europe. Hmm. That's that's pretty cool. It is. And, and weird. We ju we're just adopting it from like a decade ago. But yeah. It's been in Denmark for 15 years, I read. So it's not that long. <laughs> it is not long. No, I, don't not. Know how, I don't know how long it's been here in the Netherlands. No. But I do know now that um Samhain is a pagan religious celebration to welcome the harvest at the end of summer when people mm -hmm. would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off the ghosts exactly to warn them 
So the reason we dress up is to warn the ghosts. Yeah. And I've read it's to warn them to 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 like make them believe that you're a ghost as well so that they won't so that they will skip your house and go to yeah. the next or the yeah yeah so they they will look at me and say oh she's a ghost as well i won't follow her home because i don't need to her home is in the graveyard so and so, of that. so where do those those bloody costumes with the weird eyes and stuff all over come from from people's imagination i guess when you're <laughs> dead you look like that <laughs> In you mind. look like a zombie yeah so you're really or maybe they they didn't think that that people look like zombies but that they needed to do something really really scary so that so it was more convincing yeah yeah so actually we're doing it the wrong way. Mm. Actually, we should dress up and then the children. What are the, the children are the ghosts? We give them treats because that was to one keep of them the away. Things. Yeah. <laughs> shoo, shoo. <laughs> because in, back in the Celtic times, they went to the graves and gave them delicious food and, and sweets. Just to, to keep have them, them to keep them there. So when we give treats to the children, <laughs> it's to make them go away so that they won't haunt us. A good thing the children aren't coming to, to their own homes. So that's why. Hmm. Oh no, I was mistaken. What? In in, in Denmark. Halloween started slowly around the year 2000. So that's when it started. Then, ah. yeah. So Anna, why do we use um, pumpkins? Do you know why? Well, I know that in the Celtic times, mm -hmm. apparently they carved out the sugar beets mm -hmm. and put lights in there. And yeah. sugar beets are actually, come to think of it, the sugar beets are like yeah. shaped oh, in a pointy and like and, a drop. Yeah. So if yeah. you if you light them, you put them on the stick, it's like a a drop of fire, or can you, you can't say a drop of fire, but it's like no. like a like a, a fiery thingy. That is going around in the air. Yeah. But the pumpkins, the pumpkins are, oh, maybe they don't have that many sugar beets in the US. They don't. That's why they use pumpkins. Ha, ha, ha. It says so, so right here. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to read it again to be sure. It came when the Celtics migrated to the States. And the sugar beets weren't easy to get a hold of. And that's so why they, they began something using else. pumpkins. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So what else? What else do we know? And also... So what's this part? Yeah. No, nothing. Oh. Oh, now it went away. Oh, I, I have something. I here I have this article that says Halloween: the meaning, history, and Christian response. Yes, Halloween is a pagan festival or a, a pagan religious celebration. Yeah. Hmm. So let's see. Let's see. Oh. Here it says pronounced so when so when. I love that you're doing your best to pronounce it. <laughs> yeah, because if you see it phonetically, it says Samhain. It sounds Japanese or Chinese or something. 
does. So, yeah, yeah, yes, it does. <laughs> no offense whatsoever. I'm just trying to pronounce it because it, it it it's um it intrigues me. Mm -hmm. Because Sawen is just three days, I think. It's the thirteenth month of the Celtic calendar, and it's just three days. Okay. So, uh, hmm. but then there's <clears throat> there's also the celebration of probably I, I don't think they they don't use the word Halloween, but All Holy Night or something, not Christmas Eve. I can't translate it translate it directly from things. But where you go in Christianity, go to church and light a candle for the dead. And that's also, I think it's the, maybe it's today, actually. Um, well, I do it. know that mostly Catholic uh, countries um, yeah. do it on the 1st and the 2nd of November. Yeah, it's the 6th of November. Oh, the <laughs> Okay. It's all. It's always the first Sunday in November. Ah, okay, okay. Um, and it's a Sunday to remember the dead, um, both uh, the ones we've lost and all of the people who has lost. Ah, uh, oh, it's in memory of all Christian saints and martyrs. Mm. Yeah. You know what I have here? Oh yeah, All Martyrs nope. Day. Um, by AD 43, the Romans had successfully conquered most of the Celtic lands. During the next 400 years, Samhain that was merged with two Roman holidays. Feralia, the day when Romans commemorated their death, typically at the end of October. And secondly, Pomona, a day of honoring the Roman goddess of fruit and trees. So basically, harvest. Yeah. And then we had in um, 607 AD, Pope Bonav Boniface IV, who established the Catholic Feast of All Martyrs Day in honor of the early Roman martyrs. And then hmm. it expanded to include all the saints. And so it's still in practice that November 1st is known as All Saints Day. And for the Halloweeners, Hollow tide or all hellos? Yeah. Oh, hello tide. Hello, hello tide. All hellos. Hello. And November yes. the second is also celebrated as All Souls Day. Yeah. Interesting. So it's actually it's so much more than just dressing up and going around um, houses trick or treating it is and <laughs> just realizing how little we know about the things we do just because people are doing it yeah and because um uh, commercialization says that yeah. we need to buy stuff yeah because we need to and we it's... need to decorate our houses yeah but we don't even know why we just do it because it's halloween that's exactly. what you do yeah, everybody's now excited we know why. for Halloween. Now we know why. And you know, actually, this is this is kind of um, I don't know if it's weird, but since Probably. my daughter is in South Korea this weekend yeah. with the Halloween celebrations in Itaewon, mm -hmm. one hundred and fifty-three young people. Oh, died no. because of a crowd crush. Whoa. Horrible, horrible. So it's, you're celebrating 
um, harvest time, also actually celebrating that. And then something horrific as this happens. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. So it's so much it really more. Huh? It's so much more Halloween. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think for me, it's 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 a wake up call. It's like, hey, you're doing a lot of stuff, but you don't even know why you're doing it and what it's about. And and also to make a choice if this is something I want to do. And I'm not only talking about Halloween. I'm also talking about Santa, Santa Claus, Santa, Santa Claus. Claus, Valentine's, which, by the way, I believe is commercial. But there was a Saint Valentine. Yes. So. It's a tradition more than I think, more than anything else. But but knowledge and knowledge is not power. <laughs> <laughs> knowledge is stored Action information. Is. <laughs> <laughs> but but no, it's still knowing why we do what we do or don't do. I think yeah. it's important. Yeah, just to be aware. Just yeah, to be aware that not everything that you don't have to follow what what your neighbor does and that you yeah. can do some research yourself. I mean, yeah. it was pretty easy. We just looked it up, right? Yeah, and also with the Valentine's Day, I've always been like, oh, I don't need a day for that. I want to be celebrated all year. I want the love all year. But maybe if I look into it and. Maybe it would feel more like I want to do it. Or maybe I'll feel like, hey, it doesn't matter to me. I don't know. But I can't diminish things without knowing. And I can't say, yes, I can. But for me, I would love to know what I'm talking about instead of yeah. just assuming. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. Mm. <laughs> the Halloween now has a completely different meaning. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But yeah. I still it's still intriguing, you know? I still yeah. I still it draws. Yeah. We were out um Halloween with uh, my son who's ten and his uh, classmate and, and friend. And his friend has ADHD and he's he says what he's thinking and, and He's so he was so excited and he was just pumped up and he had been looking forward to it for weeks and he had practiced his voice so that it would change when he talked and he was just so when he knocked the door it was like they opened and he said mm, give me candy or you die <laughs> or something <laughs> and then then when he left and they were about to close the door he shouted maybe you'll die tonight. <laughs> I was like, he okay. really got into it and with this voice maybe you'll die tonight <laughs> and at some point he said well my throat is hurting <laughs> like, oh no kidding <laughs> but it was just so joyful but having talked about what we just talked about it, it actually makes sense <laughs> maybe they didn't kill people but they wanted to haunt people yeah they wanted to so, scare them yeah so we did, even if yeah, that's can't. that is the belief eh? that in yeah. this period of time, the veil between our world and and the other world is so thin that what? Uh, it wasn't the night to today. It was the night between Tuesday and Wednesday, I think. I was in my bed. And I have an agreement with whomever that I do not see, hear, feel ghosts at night. Ooh. I do not because okay. it scares the shit out of me. But I felt, and I felt it before a long time ago, I felt that my bed down by my feet was kind of like uh, shaking a bit. Oh, and first I was like, hmm, is there something doing that again? And then I thought, okay, it could be my husband because sometimes when you sleep, you might yeah, you, feel yeah. like you've got a cramp or something. 
So I put my foot on his leg just to feel <laughs> if he was moving his foot. And he wasn't. Oh, and the thing came out. But you know what? I didn't get scared. That was the weird thing. Oh. I just laid and thought, you know what? Drop it. You're not going to scare me. Just stop it. Just. And it stopped. So, yay me. Good for you. Yay. Maybe it was because I just watched the 20 Days Haunted on Netflix. And I went to the bathroom and I looked at the mirror. And I never, ever look at the mirrors at night. Oh. Because I do not turn on the light. Oh, God. Um, it's and getting then, better and better, this. Then, passing the mirror, flashback to 28 Days Haunted. Going back into bed, that was a light. Okay, that's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I fell asleep, I felt that. So maybe it was just my subconscious. Yeah. I do not think so. Or maybe it was something else. But I didn't. It didn't scare me. That that was the weird that's thing. Nice. I got that's afraid actually in nice. The yeah, because I had that feeling in the bathroom of being kind of scared. And yeah. then in bed, I was like, "You're not scaring me." Sorry, I have a, I have an itch. <laughs> yeah so <clears throat> yeah sidetrack but still related hey exactly exactly because the, st the veil was still open then yeah uh, thin thinner thinner yeah so tonight i want to sleep and okay i have my bed being shook and it's happened before and i just thought well you're crazy there's no there's nothing but um yeah there was yeah you're you're sensitive you're sensitive for you have an agreement you say so yourself already yeah so i do yeah. not at night no mm -mm. when i go to bed no thanks i i taught my children as well um when you see someone when they were little, huh? when you see someone yeah. in your in your bedroom at night in the evening, you just tell them to go to the light, to go away, that you don't want them, that you don't need them, that you yeah. want to be in peace. And actually, that really helped them a lot. Did you say that because they went to you and said they saw someone? Or did you yeah, just... Yeah, put, yeah because no, otherwise no, no. they would... yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't let them scare you. And and it's not it doesn't mean that the ones who are there are there to scare you. No. But who wouldn't be scared if someone were in your house and you didn't invite them? Yeah. Dead or alive, it would just be scary. I found it so intriguing when my um ex partner's father was uh on his deathbed. Um, yeah. Actually, he was really, really sick. But uh, we we treated him at home, and he was in the living room. Mm. And one day, I just came into the living room to check on him, and I saw this woman standing next to him. In oh, in like um, clothes from a long time ago, a long dress, very distinguished, very. Um. Yeah, posh, rich, uh, very, very. Um, how do you call that? Yeah, distinguished. Period. Yeah, and she was just <laughs> watching over him, bending over him, and putting her oh. hand on his on his head. And I was looking at that, and I was actually in awe. And I stepped back and closed the door and I was like should I have a look if she's still there so I opened the door and she was gone yeah of course but, you know yeah but you know and, and it, it was just just a, a moment that I thought did I really see a person standing there yes and yes really? yes I am a hundred percent sure I did and it, it was so amazing the 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 tranquil energy that mm. she emitted, it was actually beautiful, beautiful yeah. to see. 
Yeah, and that wasn't scary. Not at all. No, no. not at all. I and, was and... more. I. I'm. It was more like I felt like an intruder in a precious yeah, moment. Was, yeah. yeah, but isn't it it funny how some people get scared and some people people feel like what you felt? Um, and is it because it was such a special moment, or is it because? others see something that isn't as real to look at or is it because you get spooked like yeah spooked like you get a shock <laughs> or is it what is it because maybe because you um you don't expect it mm -hmm. and um especially if if you are stepping into a room where there's nobody there and at night in bed, yeah, you don't expect anything to happen. And if your bed then starts to move or you feel someone sitting mm. down on your mm. bed next to you mm. where there is nobody. Yeah, that would scare me. That is but, but again, it didn't... as well. For me, yeah. that would be scary as well. Because, yeah, maybe it was the moment... Um, but also the energy. The energy was love. Okay. Yeah. I bet it was that... soft. It was a soft energy. Yeah, of course. You can feel it. And if you feel that it's a wonderful yeah. feeling, a, a loving feeling, then there's nothing to be afraid of. No. And but sometimes and... you can have your own energy give you that feeling of fear. Yeah. Still. Yeah. True. Yeah. We diverted, but yeah. I love it. I love, yeah, I love our just... diversions. Yeah. Because mm. yeah, because Halloween is is does still have to do with spirits, with ghosts, with um, warding of evil. Yeah, and still, but you know, what celebration. Is, yeah, as well, as well, because mm. it's also harvest time. It's celebrating harvest. Yeah, but in is it in some Spanish cultures or South America where it's a celebration? Have you watched the movie Coco? I haven't. No. But no. it's about that. Um it's a car it's a Pixar movie, I think. Um, oh, okay. But what about the the like in Mexico, the Day of the Dead? That's what I'm talking about. Coco is in Mexico, I think. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Well, they celebrate them. Yeah. Yeah. And why shouldn't I, we? I know a friend uh, in in Peru, um, for her, this is the, the moment that they go to visit the graves of yeah. their loved ones and and celebrate life with, yeah. with their deceased um, family members. Yeah. They drink, they they talk, they have music. Yeah. On the graveyard. Yeah. And, at the graveyard. And that's what we're doing the 6th of November um, in Denmark. But it's going to church and it's lighting a candle. But why not make it a, a feast like they're yeah. doing? It's sorry to say, but it's so, so Christian to have it. In like so structured like and, and, and in the yes exactly and we make it, it boring. Yeah, so boring. Yeah, we sit on benches. We sit on the bar so you cannot get comfortable. No, because then you would fall asleep. Mm -hmm. At oh, least they oh, stop having the guy poking you if you fall asleep. But now they just expect us to be awake and sing these long songs, and then we when we finish that. We again just sit and listen to someone talk for a long time where you doze off and think of everything else, especially if you're me. What? And then again, oh, that was something. Oh, we have to sing again. <laughs> yeah. Now we have to sing it. At least in Catholic churches. I am Protestant. But the, more, but it's... And we go on knees and we go back to our seats. In the Christian, <laughs> we stand maybe a few times and then we sit. So there's more movement. <laughs> 
<laughs> the Catholic. Yeah, but you know, actually, the Catholic Church is full of symbols and and thingies, yeah. which is actually it it does have some kind of appeal, but yeah, but like the Protestants, cold as ice. Yeah, yeah. You know, I went to a school that was um, half half Catholic mm -hmm. and Protestant, so we went to both churches we had two churches connected with our school and at some point i had feelings like i wanted to be a catholic more than a protestant because Protestants, yeah the the catholic church was way bigger and they had more traditions they had the communion several times and we only had the confirmation and their baptism and their the altar and the it was so okay i might be a bit into expanding go yeah, for it go for it girl ah oh, so i uh, when i went to church in the in the catholic church sometimes i went to the you know the um, blessed water before entering the church i dipped my finger and i did the cross and i kneeled even though I wasn't Catholic, but I felt like I needed to do it. Yeah. Which brings me to another thing. But okay. Well. So and 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 my husband and I actually tried to convert. <laughs> we we tried to convert. <laughs> but we had both been married before, so they, they oh. wouldn't accept us. So good thing anyway, because I'm not really Catholic or Protestant or anything. I'm everything. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, just a quick one. I've been told twice with 20, 30 years apart that in a previous life, I was a nun. You were? So how weird is it that I, as a child, felt like I needed to do that? That I felt like I wanted to be Catholic? Ooh. Just saying, two different people years apart wow yeah that is so cool but, yeah but it limits me in my uh, my life today because i'm so i want to break free and do stuff yeah but still there's the the rules the old and dogma the, and the rules and yeah makes sense yeah well i only had i've only been raised protestant and I haven't been in church for a very long time. Not that I don't believe in God, but my God is not one person. It's the universe. No. Yeah. It's love. So, it's, yeah. And, you know, um, I don't like to be pushed into... Um, being a god-fearing creature nope. that nope. does his bidding nope. where is free will i don't believe that god is someone that dictates what we need to do it's the church that uh -huh. dictates what we yeah. should do and what we should believe and yeah, I think if you it's... read the bible it's nothing to do with all of those strict rules yeah like if you read the um Torah or the Quran. Yeah. It's all about love, respect, um caring for your next and and all of that. It's not yeah. about bringing people down or strict rules. It's yeah. it's all about love. If you don't follow the rules, then there's the door. Yeah. And there's Sodom and Gomorrah. Then I don't love you anymore. Yeah. What? Yeah. God is unconditional love. But if you don't do this, then God won't love you. It doesn't make you're sense. You're a sinner. Ooh, sinners? Sinners. Yeah, but if you're Catholic, you just go and confess and then you're over. <laughs> so you can sin It's part. not to mock every, every, anyone. It's no, just, no, but still. It's just a bit confusing. It, yeah. it doesn't really add up. Yeah. So, I actually thought of that's on my to do list as well reading the Bible. 
all the way through just to see yeah. it with eyes that are more spiritual and and that's crap to say because the bible is spiritual but where you see i don't it's different for you now yeah when you were younger yeah and not look at it as a protestant or as a catholic but but as a person yeah I um I know one a, a a person a lady who um was raised in a family that where the father is a priest and they were really they weren't Protestants they had a church of their own um, a bit like the like in England the Presbyterians or yeah or, kind of yeah um and her children know. weren't allowed to watch Disney movies because there were hidden messages in them. She was really a loving, caring person, but strict about those things. And her husband was in on it as well. Um, and then one day, oh, she oh. and her husband sat down with her sister and read the Bible. And that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. And she's out. Her children really? is watching Disney movies. They're doing because they still have a great relationship with uh, the family and her father. Obviously, they they felt sad because she didn't want to have anything to do with it anymore, and her sister neither. But but she did that and looked at it with critical eyes, like, "Hey, does it really make sense?" And again, and if you're Christian, and if you fine, I'm Christian. Yeah. If I can say that, but I, I I believe in love. I believe in everything and and nothing. I I. But yeah, that's also it. Eh? Yeah. If someone um has this deep faith in God, that is fine. Yeah. That yeah. you you can respect that as yeah being a and that's also you know that's also love that it you is. that you um. That you let that that person be who they want to be. Yeah, and again, what is God? For some people, it's a man with a long beard. For some yeah. people, it's it's love. For some people, it's Allah. For some people, it's but doesn't really matter. All in all, well, it's a, a person and an energy who is loving, caring, and exactly. So for yeah. me, it's not important. It's just no. I'm same thing with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I completely agree. But I do believe people need to have something to believe in, so they feel like they're guided, or they have someone to tell about their struggles. And so do I. I yeah. just, yeah. Yeah. True. True. And you should go yeah. to church. Just, just. <laughs> Just do it when no one else is there or in, in the opening hours, but not necessarily for the Well, if I, if I go to church, then it mm. will be a Catholic church. Yeah. Because I don't find the uh, Protestant churches very inspiring. No. We do have a lot of churches in Denmark, and I do find them inspire, inspiring. But, um, but, but, Again, not about the, the God thing, but the room and the energy that's in there. Yeah, exactly. It's also yeah. because of all the people who have been there. There is sadness, there is joy, there's marriages, uh, weddings, there is uh, uh, funerals. Everything. Yeah, but it's also like uh, the the christening. Mm. Yeah, so you feel that energy when you enter. And yeah. that's what they can do. They can just... Yeah. Yeah, so I went to church. What was it, a month ago or something? Yeah, I remember you yeah. sending me a picture. A beautiful, yeah, and I, beautiful and I, church. Yeah, and I burst into tears when I sat in there. I, 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 I didn't understand why, but I just felt overwhelmed. Yeah. So that's also a place where you can, for me, find peace and find calm and love. And, and I can find that everywhere. But in that moment, it just, I had an urge to go to church. Go there. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Nice. I nice love that. Stuff. 
I love we that. We could go on, Anna. Oh, we could. Yes, we could. But I think it's good. This is a good point to wrap this up. It is. And see what we're doing next week. You never know. You never know. You never know. So, it's a surprise. like us, follow us, yeah. share. Please do. And subscribe. Subscribe. Click the hit the yay, yay. the thingy <laughs> see you next week see you next week indeed bye bye, bye.